dear traders, today is Friday, September 25, and I'm glad to share with you a regular market review for InstaForex. If you survive this week, uh, it's very nice, because today a big festival for Americans. On this day, the National Comic Book Day is celebrated in the USA. Do you imagine? Interesting people live there because they promote this festival to the nationwide level. It could happen only in the USA. I guess in Russia this festival would be called uh, the National Day of Curtains. Now let's switch to the serious tone. Back to our charts. And the first instrument to discuss is gold as usual. Yesterday Americans bought a little gold. I think today they are going to carry on with modest buying because on Friday traders usually lock in profits from short deals and they don't want to extend positions for Monday. How can we earn from this? Very simple. Let's calculate. Yesterday Americans bought gold at a 270 pips move. I reckon the gold is closing the European session today a bit lower. At the moment of opening the American session, the difference between today's high and the extremum makes up a nice floor. If we buy at 50% retracement in the American session, let's place top loss of 100 pips and take profit of 170 pips. Not bad. The point is that you are chasing stop order within one day. As the mega trend is over, you may reckon that sellers will fix profits. This is common practice on Friday. I'm more interested in trading better technical levels. Here I see a mirror level at 1882. I think those who are going to open a short trade will stick to this level. Let's imagine you are a seller. Where will you place top loss? I guess behind this level. Later I expect either activation of your stop loss or a flat market. So it will be a good idea to chase top orders of those who stand behind the mirror level. What about the euro dollar pair? The euro is losing steam today. The American session yesterday closed with gains for all dollar related instruments. So I see pin bars like this. But it will be wrong to rush buying the green bag because of this pin bar. Let's break it down on the one hour chart. I see first a selling wave and then a buying wave. If you see a similar structure on the one hour chart, it doesn't necessarily mean a market reversal and signals a market entry. I don't think so. Those who rely on daily pin bars, they usually have a formal approach. They say if I see a pin bar, I'm going to trade. I prefer to check what they consist of, if they reveal powerful open interest and targets. Speaking about the euro, it doesn't make sense to buy it as there are now nice targets. If you are the euro bear, you can place stop loss anywhere. There are lots of options to set stop orders. At the same time, if you chase stop orders of such players who have a choice, this hunting will hardly be successful. It looks like this. You are walking across the forest hoping to step on a sleeping wild boar. You hope it will startle and die of a heart attack and you will take this trophy. What is the likelihood of this? Almost zero. <laughs> However, if you are hunting a wild boar at a certain path at a particular time, holding a gun of the right caliber, you are boosting your chances to catch a trophy. Do you see the difference? The same is about trading. For a good market entries, we need the right ground. Third, it happens a couple of times per month. I know for sure that the stronger is the trend, the more people are trading against it. I'd like to warn our traders. What is a trend? Market participants with one sentiment are being squeezed out of the market by others. In terms of technical analysis, when the trend is bearish, you see lower lows and highs, and vice versa. Now we cannot explain technically what is going on, a trend or flat market, no one knows. 
In the last few days the pair was bearish, now the pair is trading flat. Please be cautious. See you next week, dear my friends. Enjoy your weekends.